Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 117. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 107 to 119. Wow, this is probably the hardest Excel thing we have done so far in all the hundreds of videos at Excel is fun. In fact, this problem was so hard, I didn't know how to solve it. I went to the Mr. Excel uh, dot com discussion board and posted this question and here's the question we have some names patient names and we have a scheduling table here's the time and the date and notice we can fill in uh, from data validation we could say name four here name one that means this patient's coming in on the 10th at 10 a.m. and what we want is we want over in these columns next to the name we want to return the date here. So this is a reverse two-way lookup. Usually we can take, we can use index and match and say I want to find this item right there and this item right here and the intersection gives us name one. But now we want to do the reverse. We want to uh, say this, given this, tell me what this is and that. We're going to just do the date in this one, number 117. We'll do the uh, both of them in uh, 118. So anyway, this question was so hard, I could, I did not know how to do a two-way reverse, so I posted, and a guy named Aladdin gave me the most amazing answer. Aladdin at the Mr. Excel uh, discussion board has given me a couple answers throughout the years that just blow my mind, and this is one of them. All right, um, let's start this formula off equals if. And now, uh, because there's duplicates over here, see there's a name there and there, we need, um, we need a way of, or it could be zero, we need a way of putting nothing in the cell if it's zero, or when we're here we want the first one, and when we're here we want the second one. Notice uh, this date is in column, if this is the first column, this would be the second column, this would be the third column. So the, the first one would be in column two, the second one would be in column three. So. Uh, we're going to use columns, and we're going to actually have to um, do the same cell we're in, and we can't click on it, so I'm going to have to type dollar sign D15 uh, colon uh, D15. That way this range will expand um, from here to here. In fact, let me just show you how the column works here, and control shift tilde to get rid of the, the uh, formatting. If I drag this over here like this, you could see here, it's uh, saying what, co how many columns are there. Well, that's just one column range, so it gave me one. Here, it's it's highlighting the blue is highlighting two of those, and says how many columns is that? Two. Control Z. I'm going to copy this up here and say fill formatting only because I want that date format there eventually. All right, so we'll get back if if columns are greater than or equal to. Now I better, uh, no, I mean less than or equal to. And I better stop right here and show you what I put over here. I put a simple count if. So I'm just counting how many names are in this range over here. See that formula is looking there and it's counting that. So there's two appointments. Alright, so here's back to this formula. Columns have to be less than or equal to this. And we need to lock this going to the side, but not down because when we copy the formula over, we need it locked on this two, but down we uh, do not need it locked. We want to move to the next one. Now let's think about this. This columns gives us one here, right? So if this were zero, is one less than or equal to zero? It would be fall um that would be false, right? So eventually when we get to the false, we'll put a blank. Now the value if true. Now this is a big uh, complicated part. And we're going to use the index. But there's a cool trick inside the index function that allows us to do a reverse two-way lookup. So we're going to do index and the array is going to be this date range. And I'm going to highlight those dates and then hit F4. And um, so that's the array. Now we need not the row number. I'm going to type uh, a comma. Watch how the, it's, the screen tip jumps, comma. And now I need to get to the column. And now we need to tell what column number. Now we're going to have to use the small function because we have duplicates here. We have uh, name one, name there. and Eventually, we're going to get a column uh, number return. And notice this is column two. This will be column three. So the first one that will be returned is uh, the smallest one, smallest 
one. The next time it will be the second smallest. So we're going to use the small. And now we need to figure out a way uh, to get an array that is based on the names here. So we're going to use this is an we're going to actually use an array formula. This is all going to be an array formula, but this is uh, part of the array in it. And we're going to highlight the whole range. Actually, I'm going to have to scroll from here. This whole range here, F4, and this is going to be equal to this name. And I'm going to have to lock it going to the side, dollar sign there, but not going down. Okay, um, And this actually needs to be an if here. So if that's true, any of these are true, what do we want? Comma, and we're going to have to use figure out how to get a column uh, number here. Remember, this will deliver it's an if. You know, this will deliver a bunch of trues and falses. Let's just highlight and do our F9 trick. Notice it's false, 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 false. There's only a true right there and a true right there. So I'm going to Control Z. This thing will deliver trues and falses. And what we want is column numbers. So watch this. We're going to use the columns. If I can get this fit on the screen. Col um, column. And column of what? These right here. Now right, and then hit F4. Right now, that column will deliver 8, 9, 10, 11, because H is the eighth letter in the alphabet. 8, 9, 10. But that's not what we want. For this column, we, we need the number 1. For this column, we need the number 2. So watch this. We're going to subtract from it minus column of this, and then hit F4. Right now, this still wouldn't work. This is going to give us 8, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11. If we subtract from 8 from all those, it would give us 0, 1, 2, 3. So then we need to add one more. Now. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, minus 8, which is 0, 1, 2, 3. You add 1's to those, and you get your uh, column numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so small and then if, right? This is the what to put into the if if it's true. You can see down here. We don't need the false, so I'm just going to close parentheses. But we do need the second part of the small, because remember, there could be duplicates here. So watch this. We're going to use that same column trick we did that delivered 1 here and 2 here. So Control C, and then paste it right here. This will deliver 1 and 2. For the small, that's perfect. The smallest, when you have a number 1 here, it's just like the min function. So it will find the smallest one, which is this column right here, column 2. However, uh, when this part right here gets copied over to there, it delivers a 2, so then the small is delivering the second smallest one. And actually, we only have two columns here. You actually can have as many appointments as you want and as many duplicates here as you want. Now we're going to close on the small. You can see right there. And then close on the index. And now we're to the value. That's the value if true for the if. So we put a comma and then double quote for blank and then close parentheses. Now, this is an array formula, so he'll control shift and enter. And then you copy it over and double click and send it down. And that is an amazing way to do an, a reverse uh, two way lookup. If you look there, it, it worked just fine. Let's go and uh, verify uh, name four is on 10 9 2008. 10 9, 2008. And sure enough, we got the right dates here for number 1, 10, and 11. There's the uh, 10th and the 11th. Now, that was hard. Luckily, at YouTube, you have a rewind button. And you can go through and look at that again. And then once you get this down, we can go look at uh, how to do an even more insanely difficult formula in uh, magic trick number 118. All right, we'll see you next trick.